The world of AI is evolving at a breakneck pace, and one platform that consistently makes waves is Midjourney. Known for its remarkable AI-generated images, Midjourney has recently introduced a significant update, a new web editor that promises to change the way users interact with the platform. Today, we're going to unpack this update, explore what's new, how it impacts the creative process, and what it means for the broader AI landscape. Whether you're a longtime Midjourney user or just interested in the latest tech innovations, this deep dive will give you all the information you need. The evolution of Midjourney. To fully grasp the significance of this new update, it's crucial to understand the evolution of Midjourney. Launched as a Discord-based tool, Midjourney quickly gained traction among artists and designers for its ability to generate high-quality, visually stunning images from simple text prompts. This was no small feat. Many early AI models struggled with producing coherent and visually appealing results, but Midjourney set itself apart with its consistency and quality. However, as powerful as it was, the reliance on Discord as the primary interface posed challenges. Navigating through various commands and tools in a chat-based environment could be cumbersome, especially for users who were new to the platform or less tech-savvy. The experience was functional, but not particularly user-friendly. This became increasingly evident as the AI image generation space grew more competitive, with new players like Flux One from Black Forest Labs and established names like Adobe Firefly pushing the boundaries of what AI could achieve. In response to these challenges, Midjourney gradually began transitioning towards a more web-based platform. This shift wasn't just about making the tool more accessible. It was about creating a more cohesive and enjoyable user experience. The latest update, which introduces a new web editor, represents a major leap forward in this evolution. Unveiling the new web editor. So, what does this new web editor actually bring to the table? The most notable change is the unification of several key features into a single, cohesive interface. Previously, if you wanted to use different tools like in-painting, canvas extension, or region variation, you had to navigate through a variety of menus or input specific text commands. Now, all of these features are integrated into a streamlined editor, making it much easier to edit and refine your images. One of the standout additions is the new brush-like tool for in-painting. This tool replaces the older square selector and lasso tools, offering much greater precision. For example, if you're working on a landscape and decide that a particular tree looks out of place, you can now use the brush tool to seamlessly replace it without affecting the rest of the image. This level of control is a significant improvement, especially for artists who need to make fine-tuned adjustments to their work. Another key feature is the enhanced canvas extension. With the new editor, users can easily expand the boundaries of their images, and the AI will automatically fill in the new space with content that matches the original. This is particularly useful for those looking to create larger compositions, or add more context to an existing piece without disrupting the flow or style of the image. These changes weren't made in a vacuum. Midjourney CEO David Holtz described the update as a huge step forward in making the platform more user-friendly and intuitive. The new editor is designed to reduce friction in the creative process, allowing users to focus more on their art and less on navigating complex tools. Impact on users and workflow. So, what does this update mean for the average user? For those who have been with Midjourney for a while, the differences are immediately noticeable. The new editor's unified interface significantly reduces the time and effort required to move between different tools. Everything you need is now in one place, making it easier to experiment with different effects and refine your images. Early feedback from users has been overwhelmingly positive. Many have praised the new in-painting tool for its precision, which allows for more detailed and accurate edits. This is particularly important for artists who need to make subtle adjustments without starting over. The ability to extend canvases without disrupting the image's overall aesthetic has also been highlighted as a major improvement. Comparing this new workflow with the old Discord-based system shows just how much has changed. The previous setup, while powerful, was not particularly user-friendly, especially for those new to the platform. The new web editor lowers the barrier to entry, making it easier for newcomers to get started and for experienced users to work more efficiently. This could be crucial in attracting a wider audience, especially those who may have been hesitant to use the platform due to its complexity. 
The integration of these tools into a single interface not only improves efficiency, but also enhances creativity. With all the features at their fingertips, users can more freely experiment with different styles and techniques, pushing the boundaries of what they can create. This level of accessibility and ease of use is likely to attract not just professional artists, but also hobbyists and newcomers to the world of AI-generated art. Competitive Landscape and Legal Challenges This update comes at a critical juncture for Midjourney, as the competitive landscape of AI image generation continues to evolve. With new models like Elon Musk's Grok 2, powered by Flux 1, entering the market and established platforms like Adobe Firefly continuously refining their offerings, the pressure is on for Midjourney to maintain its leadership position. The new web editor is clearly a strategic move to stay ahead of the competition by improving the user experience and making their tools more accessible. However, this update isn't just about keeping up with competitors. It's also about differentiating Midjourney in an increasingly crowded market by focusing on enhancing user experience and making powerful tools more intuitive, Midjourney is positioning itself as the go-to platform for AI-generated art. However, this progress comes amidst ongoing legal challenges. Midjourney is currently facing a class action lawsuit from a group of artists who allege that the company used their copyrighted images without permission to train its AI models. The lawsuit has recently progressed to the discovery phase, where more details about Midjourney's data usage practices may come to light. The outcome of this legal battle remains uncertain, but it's clear that Midjourney is focused on innovation and user experience. The launch of the new web editor, despite these challenges, demonstrates the company's commitment to supporting its user base and continuing to push the boundaries of what's possible with AI. It's also worth noting that these legal challenges aren't unique to Midjourney. Many AI companies are grappling with similar issues as they navigate the complexities of copyright law in the digital age. How Midjourney handles these challenges could set a precedent for the industry as a whole. What's next for Midjourney? Looking forward, Midjourney shows no signs of slowing down. The introduction of the new web editors is likely just the beginning of a series of updates aimed at enhancing the platform and keeping users engaged. One of the most interesting developments is the integration of message mirroring between Midjourney's web and Discord communities. This feature ensures that conversations in certain web rooms are mirrored in corresponding Discord channels, allowing users to stay connected and engaged across platforms. This is a crucial step in building a more cohesive community. By bridging the gap between web and Discord interactions, Midjourney is fostering a more integrated user experience. This move is likely to strengthen the platform's community, encouraging more collaboration and idea sharing among users. Midjourney has also hinted at more updates on the horizon, although specifics remain under wraps. It's likely that these will build on the foundation laid by the new web editor, further enhancing the user experience and solidifying Midjourney's position as a leader in the AI image generation space. As the competition in AI image generation continues to intensify, Midjourney's ability to innovate and adapt will be crucial. The new web editor is a strong indication that the company is prepared to do just that, providing users with the tools they need to create, innovate, and push the boundaries of what's possible with AI. Looking beyond the immediate future, it will be interesting to see how Midjourney continues to evolve in response to both user feedback and the broader market landscape. As AI technology advances, so too will the expectations of users and platforms like Midjourney will need to stay ahead of the curve to remain relevant. Midjourney's new web editor represents a significant advancement in the AI image generation space. By unifying its tools into a single, user-friendly interface, the platform has made it easier than ever for users to bring their creative visions to life. As Midjourney continues to develop and refine its offerings, it will be interesting to see how these changes impact the broader AI landscape. For those interested in AI and its applications in creative fields, this is a space worth watching. The developments at Midjourney reflect broader trends in the AI industry, where user experience and accessibility are becoming increasingly important. As always, staying informed about these trends will be key to understanding the future of AI technology. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.